This is Mahmoud Hassan Mehraz. Welcome to another solution tutorial of Solidus. Today we are going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this is the isometric view and this is the top view. In here, first we will draw from this shape, which have two circular paths. One is radius of 75 and another is radius of 68. Then we have a constructed geometry circle which has a radius of 90 from that 90 radius circle will draw a extrude cut circle and the extrude cut circle has a diameter of 100 so we will start drawing from the top plane now select the top plane and then select sketch then select circle first we will draw a circle of 75 radius now again draw a circle of 90 radius now constructed geometry after that draw the 100 extra cut circle radius 100 and here we can see we have 3 extra cut so I will circular sketch pattern it so go to circular sketch pattern then select the quantity 3 then ok now trim the all the unnecessary part and here you can see we have trimmed all the part now we extrude boss it go to isometric view then here we can see it has extrude boss of 20 so go to features then extrude boss and extrude boss it to 20 here we can see we have another similar shape but it radius is 68 so we will select this upper face then sketch then we will convert into this then normal to it now select the circle and draw a circle of 68 radius now trim all the necessary part this one this one and this one and these extra parts and also in this sides too now isometric it and we can see it will be extrude boss of 35 minus 20 with now go to features and then extrude boss and 35 minus 20 now press ok now we will draw this shape in here we can see that it has a outer radius of 68 and as here we can see this radius of 75 and this radius of 68 and we have a difference of 7 radius so we can say that this inner circle and this outer circle has a radius difference of 7 so we will draw it from the top plane now see the top plane set sketch now normal to it now select circle and now draw a circle of 68 radius now offset entities of it to 7 uncheck the bidirectional and then reverse it now press ok now select a line and draw a line to the origin now press ok now we can see the all the shapes are 60 degree angle from both sides 
so we can see this that this three line is 120 degree to each other so i will draw a circular sketch pattern and in this circular pattern select three line and select this line now press ok here i can see this part has a unit of 40 so i will offset it to 40 in both side total so select 20 now select bidirectional now select other slide too also select this line and offset entities now press ok now i will select trim option and trim all the part that i don't need now here you can see that i can trim this part this part and also this side now trim in the inner surface also and do same as in other side too now press ok now isometric it now go to features and extrude boss and now extrude boss it to 20 unit now here you can see we have uh, two hole in the center of the circle so one is radius of 30 and another is radius of 15 so i select stop surface now sketch now normal to it and select circle and draw a circle of 30 multiplied by 2 60 radius now press ok now isometric 8 now go to features now extrude cut i will extrude cut it to 15 unit now press ok now select this face and now sketch now normal to it and here we can see we have another circle which has a radius of 15 now select the circle press the circle to the origin and select radius 15 multiplied by 2 which is 30 in diameter now select features and extrude cut and i will select it to through all now press ok here we can see we have finished drawing our 3d sketch thanks for watching till the end thanks for watching and keep learning be different.